vibes, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine Vibe and Peace, and this is my story. Alright, so in this video, um, I'm just gonna be unpacking my groceries, and I just want to come on here and you know talk to y'all and talk to myself right now. Hey girl, and basically just um really talk out what I felt while I was in the grocery store, while I was listening to a podcast and walking around looking at my grocery list because I made a list. 2020, we make a list, we writing shit down. But yeah, so I made a list and I just wanna come here right now and kind of actually talk it out. Cause I said it in my head, but I feel better when I say it out loud. Like now, before, like well before I used to like read and I would read it like and keep it in my head, but I, it feels so much better when I say it out loud. So I need to say it out loud. So I was in the grocery store, right? I'm not gonna go over what I bought y'all from the grocery store. And if y'all say something about my pants, Oh, she got the pants on again? You see, look. <laughs> I ain't even gonna allow y'all to do that, okay? I wear these pants all the time. These are my weekend pants, okay? My mom actually, <laughs> y'all, this is so funny. My mom, um, a couple years ago, she used to always wear these black pants with this pink stripe. And she used to wear these black and white pink sneakers. It was like a, uh, in a pink shirt. She used to wear every single weekend. I'm like, girl, all them clothes you got, you gonna wear that? You can't find nothing else to put on. But then I had to realize, like, Jess, what you doing? I'm doing the same thing now. I'm literally, like, repeating what she used to do. 2020 drinking water. I was supposed to go to Aldi's, but this is what happened. So I went to Best Buy, and then I realized I stayed in Best Buy too long. By that time, it was, like, 10 o'clock, and I was like, ugh. I think Aldi's closed. I don't even know what time Aldi's closed. And I only spent $37. This stuff that I had got is for my meal prep for this upcoming week. Um, but some things that I did purchase, I can use it a little bit longer. Like, I won't use this whole bag of rice, you know. Um, I won't use the all the oatmeal. Like, I won't use it all. I will have stuff left over. Y'all feel me? Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? But yeah, I was walking around the grocery store. And... I was listening to a podcast, but in her podcast, she stated um, that um, she had beautiful women in her family that are single and they're very successful and da da da. And she's trying to look at you know things that they did or whatever to better herself so that way she can have a nice man or whatever. Then I mean, I kind of listened to that, and then I thought about myself, like things that I do when putting groceries up things that I do. I'm going to get kind of personal with y'all because I need y'all to feel me, okay? Because this is a real last channel. I'm just trying to be real with y'all. That's it. But, um, as I was thinking, I said, damn, like, my singleness, like, I honestly believe it is because of what I attract. I attract that. Um, and what I, what I mean by I attract that is Certain men, I keep asking myself, damn, why I keep meeting the same men or why I keep, you know, getting myself in these situationships? Like, why is that happening? And I had really, like, really, like, thought about it. It's because that's what I am attracting. I don't know me. I don't know myself um, on a spiritual level that I should know myself. I'm, 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 I need to figure that out for me. Like, what is it that I need to change about myself? to make sure I'm not getting caught up in those situations again because baby they happen over and over and I, and I actually told one of my friends I was like damn I'm always in this situation I don't I don't understand like what is it why am I attracting niggas that you know got girlfriends or you know whatever or you know or just got badass vibes or negative energy what am I doing and um, I had to think about it it's me it's, it's it is me um, it's not that every guy is bad. It's what I am attracting. It's what energy I am bringing to me. And I'm just like, oh, I'm going to need to work on that. Because, <laughs> uh, boo. No, 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 no. You can't, you can't do that. You cannot do that. So, um, I am working on this stuff healing, y'all. And I'm telling y'all. The shit is hard. It really is. But I'm gonna get it done. I know why I'm putting the oranges in there. I know you laugh. I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna do what I gotta do um, to make sure that 
I really find myself and find who I really am. And in this time in my life, I feel like I really, really have to be selfish. I have to be self selfish with my time and I have to be selfish with my space and I have to be selfish with my energy and what I put out and what I receive. Because right now, this time, this healing process is really about me. Like, it is about me. Like, I have to really make sure I am taking the necessary steps that I need to to make sure I am truly healed and um, today I, I went and to some stores and um, I got things that I, I needed to help me along this journey y'all and I don't want to talk about it right now because I don't want no bad energy coming my way y'all talking crazy and you know I ain't got to have the time but um I'll talk about it after my process is over because I feel like honestly I have to experience it to actually talk about it and I don't want to really talk about it right now and I haven't actually gone through it because that's just not what we're going to do here because this is my story and I don't want to lie to y'all because I want to tell y'all the truth. You feel me? You feel me? But yeah, so I thought about it. I was like, damn, um, it's, it's things that I track and the same thing with the same like working in retail. I was like, dang. All I do is work in retail. I never worked retail. I all, excuse me. I was like, damn, all I do is work retail stores. All I do is work in clothing stores. And I'm thinking, okay, yeah, that's this and that's that. But I never really allowed myself to actually step out and, and try to work in another area until I moved here. I have never worked in a warehouse before. And y'all, I am really freaking good at my job. I literally been on my job three months when I three months boo and I've already got a promotion I'm already transferring to a new location and I didn't know that about me because I didn't allow myself to step outside of retail and try something different because that's what I was used to and sometimes you got to get uncomfortable with the shit that you doing and I had to get uncomfortable y'all and when I walked in I was like oh I don't know when I was looking around I was like oh this probably ain't for me it's probably ain't gonna work. Girl, what the hell is you doing? You know? But I really had to get uncomfortable and find this other side of me that I did not know. I did not know that I would love working for Amazon or I would love working in a warehouse or, you know, I, I, I did not I didn't know that about myself because I was so used to doing the same shit over and over. Like, it's time to get uncomfortable. I had to get uncomfortable. And Say, going back to relationships, I did that same shit over and over because that's what I was used to. I was like, I'm just going to you know, be over here on the side, you know what I'm saying, chilling, you do you, you know? But I have to get out of that. I have to move forward. I have to move past it. I have to tap in this other side of me that I did not know. And I feel like right now it's a time because of shit that I basically went through. You know, sometimes you got to get punched in your damn face. Not really physically punched in your face, but sometimes you got to get hit just a little bit to really say, okay, yeah, I need to sit back. I need to think like, I cannot say that. Oh my God. I'm sorry for kissing y'all. But like, girl, you know better. <laughs> I need you to stop what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And I was at work, and I don't even, I don't know if I stated this in any of my videos or whatever, but I was at work, and um, I was praying, I was praying so hard, like really, really, really hard, um, and asking God to like, show me, show me, show me, what do I need to do, guide me, move me, what am I doing? And y'all, I literally like, was about to be in freaking tears. Like tears because I wanted it so bad. I was so desperate for um, God to show me like what it is that I'm I, I'm doing wrong. What it is that is hurting me. I'm I was so desperate, and I feel like right now I am so desperate to know me. I'm so desperate to know what it is that my true purpose is in life. What it is that I know I can attract. What it is that I can get out of my comfort zone and actually do what it is about Jasmine that she don't even know about herself you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying and I really am trying to like tap into that and like really feel that and I, 
right now, y'all, I'm just so desperate. Like, I, I don't care. Like, I don't care how much it costs. I don't care what I got to sacrifice to get it done. It's gonna get done, okay? It's gonna get done, period. I don't care. I don't care. So, I just wanna come here and tell y'all that because that was what I wanted to tell y'all. I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this video. Probably not. I don't know. I don't know. I might upload it. I don't know. I might upload it tomorrow or the next day. Next day. I don't know. But yeah, I just wanna talk to y'all about that. Like, you, me, 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 me gotta tap in yeah it is time it is time and and I, I thought before because before i bought books and you know stuff like that to like find myself and heal myself and i felt like it wasn't time for me then but it's time for me now and i feel like there's a time for everything there is a time for everything and yes i bought those the whatever i thought i needed back then but it was it wasn't i wasn't ready <laughs> kevin hard <laughs> i was ready <laughs> For real, I wasn't ready at the time, but um, I feel like the time is really now. The time is now, and I'm scared, to be honest. I'm scared because I don't want to mess this thing up. I want to really be true to myself. I really want to trust this process. I really want to get these groceries up, but that's going to have to wait till after the video because I got some things I got to say. Okay. But yeah, I really want to, you know find jasmine find out who i really am and i feel like nobody can do that but me yes i can read a book yes i can listen to a podcast yes i can talk to my family and my friends but all that is not going to do it if i don't want to do it oh y'all for example okay so someone said um to me um that i'm gonna take some of these, these bracelets off you know what i'm saying because they're making a lot of noise but someone said to me that um, this person believes in me, okay? Anybody can believe in you, but you got to believe in yourself. Anybody. I, I got almost 6,000 subscribers that believe in me. Well, some of them. Some of them probably just don't hear hate, you know, because, you know, your haters be your motivators. But I'm just saying. Um, but I got somebody, but you still watch it. But I got somebody out here that believes in me. But if I, Jasmine, don't truly believe in myself, that shit means nothing. It means nothing at all. You can believe a person wants to do better. You can believe that this person can be ses successful. You can believe that this person could be the next freaking president. But if that person do not believe in themselves, cut that shit off. Like, it's whatever. You have to start believing in yourself first. It, it's going to come from you. It's not going to come from the internet. It's not going to come from a post. It's not going to come from, you know, whatever. Your, like again, your family, your friends. It's, it's going to come from you. You got to start believing in yourself. Don't get mad because, oh, somebody ain't believing me. You ain't believing me. So, you know, I'm going to just step over here. I, it doesn't matter. You how to believe in yourself you can do anything if you believe in yourself and i myself is working on that i have to believe that i can make these changes in my life i have to believe that i am going to be successful i have to believe that i can learn how to love again i have to believe i only can do that can't nobody else do that for me but me anybody can believe in you but you gotta do that shit for yourself you got to I ain't putting none of them damn groceries up. Oh, God. They still did it. Okay. But, yeah. That's all I wanted to get out of this video. I'm really am working on myself and myself healing, y'all, in this process. Because sometimes I be catching myself and I be like, girl, you know you shouldn't have said that. You know you damn wrong. You know what I'm saying? You know you shouldn't have posted that. You know you ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm learning. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm learning. It's a process that it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in a week. It's not going to happen in a month. Hell, it might not happen this year, but I am working on it. And I'm so desperate for this shit. Can't nobody stop me. You can pray on it. You can do whatever you want to do. You can bring any negative energy, negative vibes, boo, boo. But I am at the point in my life, I will not allow myself to accept any bullshit from anybody or anything that that's not gonna work for me that's not serving me that's not doing me what i need to do I, I just can't i can't and i won't okay i will not allow that shit 
Okay. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap things up for my video today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and always remember, baby. Peace, baby!